All right, so I'm back, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Fans Project Dino Knee, I think. Uh, um, this guy. Um, so here's a look at the box. Uh, you got the artwork going on there. Product shot. Or artwork. I mean, it's the product, but it's got all the artwork going over it. More. More. And then just product shots on the back. So, there's a picture of Dino King. I think he'll be a good stand-in for Abominus until I can find until somebody can make a smaller Abominus. Alright. Anyway, uh, so here he is in his bird mode. Um, he's got this piece here. Uh, I'm just gonna plug it in there. Um, not sure where else you can plug it in at. I think that's your options. Anyway, um, so uh, it, it, again, it's a thing. Uh, we've got a ab crunch going here, so you can have it sit a little bit more straight, I guess, if you want to. There's a waist swivel. Uh, wings are on this swivel here. There is a ratcheted joint here, which is really nice. I love this. It's it's like angle. It's got the right ratchets to so you get the right angles, um, and that wing's not gonna flop around. Um, then it's got a hinge here. The beak opens and closes. Um, nothing at the head. And then the back legs are on ball joint here. And then there is a hinge on the feet. That's really it. That is it for posability on this thing. I think it looks okay. I'm, again, I'm not sure if this is how it's supposed to look from G1. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and assume that it's, it's probably pretty close. But I don't know. Anyway, um, again, if you know that his real name, post in the comments below. Uh, Alright, transforming him is simple. Um, untab the legs. Un don't pull them off so and the way these work is there's a joint here it's got a little groove in it and those plug into these sections here so that's when you're going into bo uh, beast mode you just, you just pop those in there and they hold, they hold really well Rotate this section here down like that. Let's see here. Fold this up. I've yet to actually transform this guy, uh, aside from going into beast mode. All right, maybe like that, maybe. What am I doing wrong here? Everyone that has, owns this figure is probably screaming at the screen right now, what are you doing? <laughs> there we go. Uh, I guess like that, or we'll go like that. There we go. Makes it like have a heel spur there. Go with that. Yeah. Fold out the foot. Oh, he's already got a heel spur. Hmm. All right. And we'll just tuck this in there like that. We'll just leave it like that. All right. Rotate this out. Down. Flip the foot around. Down, in, down, out. Untab the elbows. Flip out the wrist. Big hollow joint, so that's very Hasbro-esque for all you people 
Let's say Hasbro is the only one that does that. Close up the beak. Pull down the bird head. Kind of tabs into the chest. You're supposed to fold these wings up and then the little hole there will slot into there. And there you go. There is this guy in his butt rope. And I think he looks pretty good. I, I, I really dig this guy. Um, arms feel a little small. But, you know, still, it's not bad. Um, or maybe it's the legs that feel a little long. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Um, head is on a ball joint. Um, so you get the uh, left and right and up and down. There's a hinge in there as well, but that doesn't really work too well like the last one. Um, shoulders are on this ball peg here. Then there is a swivel up and down, uh, so you get some pretty good range of motion in that shoulder. Bicep swivel, double bend elbows. Hands are on ball joints, so you get the left you know, all the way around, a little in and out. Um, these wings, again, they, they're on the swivel here, so you just try and find a way that they kind of stay out of your way. Um, yeah, that doesn't look too bad either. Um, or you could leave the wings out, which is like my look of choice right here. Because it, it adds a little bit extra bulk to that top, top section. Uh, anyway, uh, waist swivel. Uh, Yes, that's it. So just the waist swivel. Oh, yeah, ab crunch. It's more like a torso crunch. Or like hip crunch, but, you know, whatever. Hips are on ball joints, so you get a good range of motion there. Thigh swivel. Bends at the knee. I mean, hey, look at this. I mean, he's got some good pose ability. I mean, he could. He, <laughs> I mean, he could stomp on somebody. Um, but yeah, the knee goes back that far, gets a little caught up here. Uh, foot is on a ball joint here, and this piece, the way it's kind of sitting there, and I'm assuming this is right. Um, that helps stabilize him, so he's even got a better, um, better ability to stand. Take the uh, big gun here and just slot it into his hand, and he's good to go. And he's got uh, red painted eyes. So, all right, let's get the scale comparison going. Oh, here he is with uh, Prime, a Legends, and a Seeker. So he's a little taller than the Seeker, but um, a lot thinner um, torso-wise and arm-wise. He's just kind of like smaller than he is, but leg-wise he's about the same. So, Like I said, I mean, something either the top section is a little too small for the bottom section or the bottom section is too big for the top section. Um, here he is with... His, with uh, a Combiner Wars car. You see, they're, just, they're about the same. They're right on par. So I think these things are going to work pretty well on a scale together. And then here is this tank of a, of a guy. Uh, and he looks good together. Um, I know the rest of the set, I don't think the rest of the set are this like bluish black uh, and white like these two. So I don't know how well the rest of them are going to look together yet. Uh, yeah, uh, I think there's six in the sets. Um, so I've got two. Um, and I know the other two are out, so I'll probably pick those guys up at some point. Um, and then the, uh, 
the last two I know are not out yet, so I'm kind of hoping that they'll be out by like TFCon so I can pick them up at the show. Um, and I know eventually this is going to get recolored into Monstructor, so I'll probably pick that up as well. Um, but yeah, that's it uh, for these guys. They're they're pretty cool. I like them. I recommend them. Oh, and uh, for him, I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. The proportions are what's throwing me off. Outside of that, I think he's a pretty solid figure. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to the rest of these sets. I've got a bunch of other Make Toys figures, Fans Project figures going to be on the way soon. So yeah, we'll see how that all pans out. So yeah, I guess that's it.